like a baby Yoda onesie. <laughs> Yoda's always great. Let's be honest about this. Yeah. Are are we live yet? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Then them. I'm not announcing my news because it's not suited for work. Ah. Uh, okay. Cool. I mean, it's suited it's probably... for you guys, but yeah, good. you know how I had stuff tested, right? I mean. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think yeah. you can imagine what it is, I think. Exactly. All right. Hi, everybody. With that note, <laughs> welcome to Demon Survivor, our weekly D&D show where a bunch of idiots try to survive a world infested by demons and where they say hi. <laughs> right as I'm doing my intro, Liam. God fucking damn it. You were waiting for that and you know it. <laughs> uh, I don't need to confirm nor deny. I'll confirm it for you. How about that? <laughs> Anyway, before we start, we'll throw it over to our master of announcements, Yellow. It's very bad last week when we were off uh, because of my travel and some other personal issues by someone else, which doesn't matter at this point. Uh, I went the week to Athens and it was very nice because it was colder there than Belgium, which means that I was in an air-conditioned room while the rest of you were struggling with 25 plus degrees of heat in your room so yeah i had to do I... 64 degrees at work yesterday uh, um um <laughs> so i shall now i shall now move closer to my air condition <gasps> oh no you, you have are air condition <laughs> you are prepared for yeah but it's, it's I, like yeah. it's like one of the it, it's like the biggest mobile one I could get because it's like I need to keep my desk area cool because this computer is making it warm. And, and I'm, I'm sitting here with Light Source 1, Light Source 2, Light Source 3, computer running Fantasy Grounds twice and streaming. So, you know, I'm in yeah. the coldest fucking room in my house at the moment. <laughs> no, that's not true. I'm in the coldest room of your I know. <laughs> I was <saying> that is <laughs> Oh. oh, did you put him in the basement, Lars? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. <laughs> Where he belongs, uh, goddammit. In the closet. Uh, in the closet, uh, in the closet uh, yes. No, he's already out of the closet, don't I was, worry about uh, it. I was about to make that joke. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, that closet behind you? I mean, like, th that's the big problem oh, about oh, water cooling Liam. computers. Because... <laughs> I didn't go. Jumps out. Yeah, next I, time we go to do that. Yay! I, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't go for P like I didn't go for acrylic tube on this. I went for PETG because it's easier to work with. Hmm. But the same reason that it's easier to work with is also the same reason why your coolant can really not get above forty degrees, or otherwise you're in big doo doo because that's when it be starts becoming soft. Hmm. True. Okay. See. Also, Jonas, don't know if this is uh, pertinent to you, but happy Pride Month. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we celebrate mm. Pride here. Yes. All right. I'm with that in you. mind, unless someone else has an announcement, and as long as I don't fucking die from overheating, I guess we can we, get we started. We can change, Lush. You can go here in the living, and I go no, on your... No, I, I legitimately need this entire setup. Everything nah. that's used... You don't need it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> if I am not mistaken, last time, you all died. Oh, wait, no. Other campaign. True. Mm. Um, what did happen two weeks ago? All oh, right, you guys uh, beat the coin maker, beat Knox, and then uh, got into a little bit of a political struggle as you uh, needed to talk to the gathered Council of Relics where uh, you were officially made a political family or a noble family. We finally came up with a name for ourselves. Yay! Woo. Finally, after 75 sessions. We did? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, you did. <laughs> I don't have my notes here, so I don't care. Oh, yeah, true. We are the Paragons of Ermenard. Or the Paragons. Paragons. Yes. The Parrots um, of Ermenard. That was it. <laughs> you got it. The Paragons of Greatness. I've got disconnecting issues in Fantasy Grounds again, so I'll turn on my VPN because that, for some reason, fixes it. So I'll be okay. right back. Good thing. All right. Good thing. Um, with that in mind, uh, you became a, a official noble family, at which point uh, you started planning for the war in Wolfpine, uh, in making a couple of decisions, figuring out that you were going to take a couple of days of downtime. Uh, did I miss anything important? I don't think so. 
The vote of no confidence. Oh yeah. The the Primarex is still the Primarex. <laughs> yep. Congratulations. Yeah. Bad face. So <laughs> With that in mind, I have a list here <laughs> oh, of things that I need to make sure that I've done at the start of this session, which rolled downtime, and everybody yes. just turns off their camera as I say that. It's beautiful. Yep, you um, know yeah, true. So, um, who am I going to start with? I have no idea. I know I'm not starting with Chad. Because he fucked his rolls already. Oh, oh, damn it. I, I still get the roll for finding Articarp, right? Uh, that that's one a... of the things on the list, yes. <gasps> that's that's oh, a two-man yes, deal. I said I want to do that That is with you. one of the things on the list, yes, exactly. Because uh, Jed also still mentioned have... it. So it's one, one day for the plus one, right? Um, no, it's five days, but it's someone else doing it, so you don't care. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so for the plus one armors and the repainting that gets done by someone else, so just subtract the money and then you're completely fine. Um, that, then you'll have to let me know how much that is then for me as well. <laughs> what's the base plate? Of, what's the oh, wait, but you have plates, so 350. Is it just 350? Yep, yeah, yep. because of the new book I'm using, it's actually only 350. Oh, you need three fitting, three fitting, like get. Fitting. Okay. It's like and, uh, it's an exponential much... curve now, right? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the next time it's, it. I think, seven thousand or something. So yeah, it's a big oh, increase, fuck. which yeah. I can afford. I just don't have the time for it. So. No, you do not. It's a lot longer. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Or you're going to war without your armor. That's the other. How much uh, was the the paint? Uh, the paint was like a couple of like let's say. Oh wait, plus applying it like ten gold pieces. Okay, so three sixty. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Then art the card. We'll start with that. <laughs> Um, so I am going to say you guys are going to be traveling a couple of days to Wolfbine. The way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to let uh, both Jed and Shiloh roll an um, this would be an Arcana check. Shiloh, because you're doing a lot longer research, you get to add a plus five to it. Um, depending on how high you roll, I am going to add Art the Cart to the encounter table a couple of additional times giving you a higher chance of him running into you guys as you travel to uh, Wolfpine for the war. Okay. That's About the way this is going to work. Let Arcana? Uh, yep, Arcana. From both Jed and Shio. Oh, it's not your wow. fucking week, huh? The plus ten. So, uh, Arcana. Plus five to my Arcana. Yep, indeed. For you, it's with a plus Skills. My arcana isn't that high because I have no. nothing in intelligence. Plus five so. in addition to the arcana check. Uh, yeah, yeah no. which is a plus zero because I have yeah. no intelligence. So plus five total. What you roll a natural 18. Uh, <laughs> total 18? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, for those uh, six days of travel, that's going to what? increase the odds of you guys running into arts by, uh, that will be 15%. Hmm. So three of my encounters. Three of the encounters are going to be replaced with art, and you do have a couple of days of travel, so you have a chance of running into him. And I'll even be nice, and I'll even let you roll for it in the in the domain of relics. How about that? For the, uh, are you rolling the encounters? Yes. Well, I mean, I have the encounter table. You guys get to roll the d20s. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just. I'm, I was asking Yella because I. That's what I got. Like, are you rolling the encounters, or am I doing that? Because we don't oh, no. get any bonuses it's, to it, right? It's, uh, it's just it's the just... encounter rolls. L Lars will call for it yeah. when we travel. Yeah. All right. All right. So then, um, who else? What else am I doing first? Ryu. What do you want to know? Which one? What one of the things? <laughs> a couple things. So uh, you had the uh, muster, you had the investigation check, and you had the potions, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So you can buy. Four normal healing potions and two buy graders. All. I'll just buy all of those, yeah. Uh, so that's 200 and two five graders points. would be 500, so 700, right? Yes. Uh, I'll buy two graders and two normal ones just so I have a nicer rounder number. Okay, perfect. It's not like I need that many anyway. I have healing word, but it's mostly for uh, emergencies. All right. Uh, then for the mustering of troops, 
Um, the minimum for mustering troops, because I kind of changed the rules on that because it was getting too easy, uh, is you spend five days on that, right? Uh, at which point you can get a tier one unit. If you make a DC 15 persuasion check, if you make a DC 20, then you get a tier two unit. Okay. So make a persuasion um, check for me. Uh, important for the expertise. Yeah, I was about to say, are we? When are you removing my curse? Because that's gonna be relevant to this. When you want to. We can technically do it at the end. If I you will don't get it. <laughs> sure. Trouble with the law. Sure. Yeah. Okay. But uh, now, nah, okay. Realistically, right, you would just want to get rid of it as soon as possible. So I guess it would be in the first couple of days. So I, I'll do it without the. Okay. The expertise. So I should normally just have uh, proficiency then. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'll meanwhile turn my things off. There we go. Okay. All right. Persuasion roll. Yeet. Come on. Oh! Okay. Does a so. 29 succeed? No. How do you roll a persuasion check? <laughs> and that's uh, after removing his, his curse. Ryu back to his normal... <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't you have those rolls two weeks ago, buddy? Oh, I love that. Uh. Oh, oh, I love that so much. It hurts. Oh, anyway. <laughs> so, Ryu, with that, uh, you will be getting a, a tier two unit. Um, to be fair, though, you will only get them six days before the actual yeah. battle starts, so they won't be on time to join the actual war. Uh, but you do have them. Um, it was mostly for in the, in the future anyway. Yep. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, so Ryu just completely happy with his uh, back to his normal self. Fucking so confident now, back that he has his own face. He doesn't have to concentrate on things. He immediately uh, rolls a natural 20 because of it. Perfect. <laughs> completely nice. in character. Um, something, something magey, I'm assuming. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cool. All right. And then. Library. Yeah, and then the final one, I would like you to make an investigation check with advantage. Because of your uh, sagey, sagey background. The research is sage background, yes. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a flat roll, but the advantage will help, hopefully. Oh, that was an 18, but uh, it's a 14. Okay. Um, lore on God's gifts is relatively limited. Yeah, which good. means with a 14 you look through it for like your last day after you've created your little unit uh, or big unit um, you kind of start skimming through the libraries and, and the information that's there but there's so little information on these gods gifts because they've mostly been hidden from the public eye yeah. as much as possible so you don't really <laughs> find anything about that that's fine it Jed you have a question why did he get advantage on his investigation check for being a sage and I didn't? Because you hadn't mentioned that you were a sage at the time. <laughs> I did. You said you lowered my DC for it. You want to re-roll it with advantage? No. No, go for it. But no. no. I think I just, at that point, made a quick call and I don't remember what uh, I did. No. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Wow. There you go. You All feel right. better now, Chad? <laughs> So much better. So much better. <laughs> oh, that's just, every roll that matters, fucking that one. And then if you fucking oh, let me just for shits and giggles, roll persuasion, natural twenty. Uh, okay. I won't roll anymore tonight, so that's it for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Liam, you're a dick. <laughs> Liam, you're such a dick. <laughs> What did he do? Oh, yeah, he, made a, he, do? he made a clip <laughs> of oh, Yellen not being able to roll persuasion when it does, oh, when it matters, but doing it perfectly when it doesn't. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Anyway, um, before I do the remaining two, um, technically during this downtime, you would also have had your first domain action. Uh, which was uh, getting your special units, bonus action, getting help from the uh, from the army, and then the second one was action using your special action thingy from. Uh, yep. Get uh, plus two resolve. 
Yeah, exactly. And then bonus action, I'm assuming, doing another uh, ally kinship thing. Yep. Right? All right. <clears throat> so, um, who's rolling all that for me? <laughs> I'm maybe not touching I... dice. So far, I've been rolling well. I might jinx it by saying this, but maybe I can, I can take at least one of the rolls. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much remember that you can all only add proficiency to one roll during the... Um, oh, yeah. I think I've already well. done that then. Yeah, no, you haven't, like... because this is a new... Uh, oh, a like new that. Okay. Entry. Yeah, I, I'll, do, I'll do one roll then. Sure. Okay. Is it just a flat 20, or what am I adding? Uh, it's a d20, and for your... So your proficiency bonus, then, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, and it's a plus four. I need to see what kind of a check it is. You guys are an adventuring party. I should have probably set this up up front. I knew I was going to have to. Where is it? There you go. Uh, you make a DC 13 operations test. Okay, so... And operations... So for you guys is plus three. Okay, so I have a plus seven. Yep. Indeed. Okay. That is a plus forty-seven. That's a little high. How do I? Not giving you a plus forty-seven. No offense. Okay. Uh, yeet. Twenty-seven. I'm a, I'm a fucking god. So, um. Pretty much during the first ten days that like your army is like getting ready. You also call upon, uh, I think that's the rat catchers, if I'm not mistaken. Rat catchers. Uh, who one of you gets to control, if they so please. <laughs> nice. So that's one. Maybe this time I'll actually be able to use it since we're attacking and not defending. Exactly. You've got more ones I am controlling. Uh, I have it all in fancy ground, so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, then call in a favor. So. Uh, who wants to make a diplomacy test? This would be against. I think I said. I don't remember if I said friendly or allied. Uh, friendly, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Be, be, before we were part of a political organization. Okay. I, I will be nice and I will allow you to still be friendly at the current moment. <laughs> um. So, who wants to make a roll to see if you can ha get help from the army from relics? Look at why not. I oh, can't well. keep on rolling oh, badly. Yes, you can. It's <laughs> plus <laughs> seven again. Yes. Proficiency yeah. plus four and then plus three from diplomacy again. I've I've been rolling threes pretty well. You needed a ten, so it's a success. Okay. It's just funny that you say I've been rolling threes pretty well. Yeah. I said it was a four. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're, hey, we're go we're going upwards from here. This next roll is gonna next be a five. five. <laughs> Good. All right. Uh, then disorganized misfits. You guys get to uh, make a DC fourteen operations test. Nope. <laughs> One that hasn't rolled yet, so that they can add their proficiency. Uh, I've, we didn't I roll think, yet. I, I think I've done that already. I think I did it on the first one. No, uh, pretty much it's only been the first domain action, so everybody can still add their proficiency. Just Ryan oh, and right. Jet did it already. Yeah. Swear I've already done it. Yeah, and the last intrigue with the uh, War for Alvarez. This is a new it's intrigue. Uh, once per right, intrigue. Right, right, right. It's once per intrigue. It's not like the dice which only reset once you've had a, a extended long rest. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can try, if no one else wants to. Go for Let's it. Cool. I can't anymore. So. Let's start. You can, you just can't get your uh, proficiency yeah, anymore. Good. But, you know. That would so it's uh, plus seven, then? Yep, plus seven. Again. DC yes. 14. Okay. Eight. With e, Ooh. you can add bullshit points, if you want. Uh, <laughs> I'm one. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll use one. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let's see if that makes it succeed. Oh, 15, that's enough. Okay. I got that. Nice. nice. All right. It's good thing I had some. And then uh, I need one more person. This is technically also going to be friendly, uh, who is going to get help from... Uh... Hey, that's my oh, door. He's sitting dead. <laughs> that's my door. Um, 
so one uh so either shallow or Vakri gets to make uh, another plus seven test for the guardians of Dea. can i do it sure yeah. go for it what do i have to roll uh, d20 seven. plus seven Gotta go for a quick bio break. All right. Ta -da. 26. 26. Have both rolls for allies been 26s? What the fuck? Yep. That's bullshit. Anyway. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but you said you have to roll a d20 plus 7. I just imagined Jonas running up the stairs, throwing you down the stairs, <laughs> throwing a d20 at you. <laughs> it's not a d20 at 7. <laughs> no! Damn it. Don't you fucking dare! I will come down there and actually give you DM damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just cook for him. <laughs> so that means you guys got three tier three units. Yep. Holy shit! <laughs> so no, you guys, right now, need to do the war. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I uh, well, I need to do rolls now. <laughs> so I will tell you that once you get to Wolfheim. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers alert, there is a large possibility that you won't. <laughs> yes. Uh you still have to do the command the officer fight though. Mm -hmm. Um alright, uh, but before that, I'm quickly going to do and see what role I have to make. Because they're also summoning their special unit first. <sighs> I hate my life. Anyway. <laughs> They do not summon their special unit. Because fuck my life. Cool. You can add your proficiency as well, right? I know, and even then. Yep. Like the uh yeah, DC was Hold up, it was also a thirteen, it was also an operations test, but I rolled a three plus like bonuses. So I that I... doesn't make it. Sadness. Um alright. So then, we get to the last two pieces of downtime. And seeing as Sequit is out of her chair, we'll start with Lovakri. <clears throat> so, um, Lovakri, what do I have for yes. you? So first yeah. of all, we've already done your crafting role, so you are now an apprentice alchemist. Which is great. Um, then, okay. What I would like you to do is I would like you to make me an investigation check to start with. All right. Uh, is it uh, to do with uh, anything demonic or? Uh, Faye, is, Faye is also in that list, right? Yes. Then yes. Then it's with advantage. Natural 20. <laughs> Can you people still... Well, actually, no. Roll your natural 20s here so you don't get them during the combat. I like that. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I will say... I. You know what? Yes. Perfect. Anyway. Um, so you asked me a couple of things. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, I am going to kind of merge those together a little bit. Okay. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay. Um, but I'll start with one thing, uh, which is you now have the ability to uh, find out the history of certain items. Yes. And I'll start with the apple, okay. uh, the god's gift. Um, the history that you get from the apple, you pretty much, this comes to you in sort of a vision. Mm -hmm. As you focus on the apple, you sense the godly ability that lies within it, or the godly power that lies within it. Um... You already knew that this object was created from a little bit of God's energy, which is why it's called a God's gift. But your vision kind of draws you to the sky, to where the gods are believed to be. Not literally. You don't actually see a Vakri fly, Sakura. <laughs> that would be very impressive. With a natural 20? <laughs> Maybe. Um, the natural 20 is not for that. Um, and as you do, you notice how there's 12 forms that are all looking down on the continent of Imanad, and you see how small pieces of sky are turning red, how 
the entirety of the continent seems to be enveloped within this reddish glow. And you notice how the connection of these gods to the plane is lessered, is lessened, lessered, really? Lessened. You notice how the power of the gods on the island or on the continent itself is weakened just bit by bit. The gods start to panic. They don't know what this is. They don't know what happens. Is this an attack? Is this something else? And they go down to investigate. One of them, the one who gave the apple, Pyrax, goes to a garden that she created centuries in advance that has been upkept by people that she has chosen in the past. And she notices how some of her plants, some of her weeds, some of her trees start to wither away. And as she looks, she realizes that the power of the gods on this island is failing. So, she acts. The same way that all twelve of the Duodecim act. She creates a barrier around her garden to protect the little bit of divine energy that is still here. And in order to do that, she plucks an apple from one of the nearby trees and enhances it with her own abilities, placing it in the center and creates the barrier around it. And that is the story of how the apple of Pyrax was created. Nice. So it was the apple itself making the barrier? Yeah. It's connected, at least. <clears throat> Yeah, Otherwise, the barrier would be gone right now. <laughs> yeah, true. yeah. I was, was going to say because we went back there not long ago, and certain people couldn't get in. Exactly. But now I will be able to. I think. Yes, I indeed. Hope. You will. <laughs> um, <clears throat> imagine not being able to walk in there. Oof. Then, the second story. This is the one that I'm talking about that has everything a little bit interconnected. Sorry for the rest of you. <laughs> Sorry. Some people ask for stuff. She asked for lore. Yes. I tried for lore, but alas. I know. <laughs> Me too. You focus on the pendant that you have. The same way that you did on the apple. For the last couple of days, you've been trying to get into the dream plane again. You haven't necessarily been very successful, but you've tried. And then at a certain point in time, as you focus on this amulet, as you feel its energy kind of coincide with yours, you blink and you stand in front of a door. The door again. A large door that you've seen, I think, once before. Yes. Colored in three different colors, red, white, and blue. But there's something different about it. You can't put your finger on what exactly. You stare at the door and then you notice a figure standing in front of it. A tall figure. You don't know if it's a man or a woman or something else. But you notice that they are cloaked and that the cloak seems to be filled with stars and darkness. The figure puts their hand on the door and pushes. The door opens up inwards. But you can't see beyond it. You can merely see that they've opened it. <sighs> well then. Time to put my plan into motion, I guess. And he snaps his fingers. And you see how three figures appear next to this one. At first glance, these three figures seem to be old women. Very old women. But you've done your research. You found a book about hacks creatures of fey ancestry, creatures of weird descendants. These are creatures that don't really appear in Imanot itself anymore ever since it's been taken over by the demons. There are stories about them. They usually work in covens and all that fun stuff. 
but they don't really appear anymore, so to see them here is strange. And you see how this figure, in cloaked in stars, looks back. Do you have it? Sir, I'm going to be pro- Do you have it? We've made sure that there's enough walkers to possibly fulfill your wishes. But I don't understand why you're doing this. You're giving them powers that might fall into the demon's hands. As long as it falls into one walker's hands, it's all right. And it needs to fall into their hands at the correct moment, or otherwise we'll be in trouble anyway. It doesn't matter. Now, quickly. Make sure that it's ready. And he steps back as to allow the three older women to approach the door. <clears throat> Each of them putting a hand on one of the three different colors. One of the three hags actually has to fly up a little bit and put their hand onto the top color, the white color. They all three put their hands there, take a knife from their side and cut. You see blood forming at the wound that they just made. This dark, thick, almost syrup-like blood that flows from their veins. But instead of falling down, it goes around their arm and reaches the door itself. And then you notice how in three different places the door warps. Revealing what seems to be a keyhole. And that's when it hits you. That's the thing that was different between now and the last time you saw this door. The keyholes weren't there. And from each of those three keyholes falls a small fragment, which as it falls reveals all the colors of a rainbow and more. And as they fall to the ground, the being in stars looks, makes sure they fall into the right hands, at least in due time. At which point he passes through the gates, the gate shuts, and all three hags pick up one pendant, enter it into a hole, and turn. You blink, and you're just there at the door. Nothing's there anymore. Nothing's changed, just as you remember it. The door is a proud ally. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Matthias. <laughs> I was, I was waiting I was for the same thing. Yeah, but I was like, I'll wait until he finishes his uh, yeah. his story because it would be rude to interrupt. But I was thinking, it. yeah, I was like, oh, rainbow door. <laughs> hey, perfect day for it. Let's be honest about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. That's fitting. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> no, no, you don't get to do that to the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I get that it has a hole, two even, but <laughs> no. Um, well, there was three. But yeah, that's your downtime of Akri. Unless you want to... Downtime or door time? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless they'll do it. Un unless you still want to say or ask or do anything quickly? Uh, no. Thank you. Perfect. How was it? All right. You Sakura! <laughs> Seeing as you're Hello. here. Hello. Um, a couple of days pass as you're working on your tattoo. Getting closer and closer to completion. Getting very oh, yeah. fucking close to completion. It's scaring me, actually. Yeah, I'm only a couple of days away. Yeah, I know. Um, at which point, you see a specific uh, Eladrin character with a crescent moon above his eye. Just, like, walk up to you. Nod. Hi there. You called? I did. I'm always um... happy when you call me. Yeah. Unless you try to shoot me, to be perfectly honest. Um, not today. You can save that for another day. Um, Kinky. I, I don't know if you were aware of what we managed a few days ago. I have Hope you no are. idea, actually, to be perfectly honest. Uh, well, you remember, remember the coin maker, don't you? No, I have no idea who that being is. Yeah. No, none whatsoever. Yes, he's a total prick. Um, oh, I'm glad yeah, you told but, me that. But anyway, we 
at least in some degree, we managed to uh, defeat him. So huh. with joy. And you kind of do see, like, the moment you say that, that, like, a load seems to fall off of his back, as if, like, okay. Didn't expect you were going to say that, but that's good. You're just like... No, uh, it seemed too easy at the, the first time. Turned out it was just a elaborate charade, and then they turned into this giant demon lord, as he turns out he was, called Nox. I'm sorry, what? <clears throat> yes, as it turns out, the coin worker was actually a demon lord. We've been fighting for a demon lord. Yes, demon lord of fuckery. I can't remember exactly what. <laughs> you hear a voice in the back of your mind of darkness and chaos. <laughs> chaos and something. I like your voice. Um, <clears throat> Oh, uh, the Demon Lord of Darkness and Coats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bullshit point. <laughs> um, yes, but he turned into this giant fucking being and then started, went on a killing rampage through relics and you've probably seen the destruction he left behind on your way here. I have seen that, yes. Yes. Um, so we managed to strike that down. But right. we also we had to go in t- through a portal we were hidden in Lord Aaron's home, and as it turns out, the the high priestess made a deal or something, and as a result, managed to somewhat cure Shiloh, Ryu, and Jed. All they need is a remove curse spell cast upon them, and their demonic uh, taint is gone. All right. So that's why I called you here. Because you think it might also get rid of mine. Exactly. It's worth a shot, I guess. We've tried yes. several things. I it hasn't worked we... yet up until this point. Yes, but we don't. We don't know exactly whether what deal she made with him. It obviously it affected the other three. I don't know if it would affect you, but like I said, there's only one way to find out, and I would, and I promised you I would find a way to rid you of that. Okay. Thanks to my thanks to my friends, I am trying my hardest. Very much appreciated. We're in the meantime marching upon the settlement of Mordred. So. <clears throat> yes. Well, we'll be going there soon as well, so you can travel with us. I think. I wouldn't mind your company. Oh, I wouldn't mind yours either. Yeah, oh, but the the only other thing is we need to uh, we do need to talk to Jet as well because he would be the one to get rid of it with his magical abilities. Okay, perfect. Well, I guess we should go then. Yep. Age before beauty. Oh, wait, I'm older than you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I fucked that up, didn't I? And, and he actually answers like, so do you go first or second? Both. Both? Both? We do both. <laughs> I'll go both? third, then. I'll let you and your yes. ego go first. <laughs> Why, thank you. You're so kind. And they say chivalry is dead. Uh, Jed, all of a sudden, uh, as you're doing whatever the hell you're doing at this point, you see two elves walking up to you, <laughs> like very sternly, <laughs> almost as if they're going to take your lunch money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he can't it persuade us out of it. <laughs> Are you joining me into the investigations for the cos- for some items? Um... No, that's not why we're here. Uh, you know how you can cure yourself and the others of the demon yep. curse now? And I definitely did for all three of us. Uh, can you try doing the same for Ferret here? Come back tomorrow, I don't have it prepared today. <laughs> 
I somehow knew you'd say that. <gasps> okay, fair <laughs> And you, and you come back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I do. Hey, sorry. <laughs> okay, it, it's tomorrow now. Yeah, let's try this again. Do you have it prepared this time? I have it prepared. No, okay. come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I had other shit to prepare, and like you know, I my own really filled hey, it in. Do you like carrots? And then he waddled away. <laughs> Until the yeah. very next day. Do you know yeah, carrots are good for your eyesight? Okay, it's great. Yeah. So let's try to remove this curse. Okay. <clears throat> uh, as as you cast remove curse on Ferrith, mm -hmm. um, you know that... to stop concentrating on the thing so we can see it. Yeah, sure. Bizarre. So you you actually see his entire body, including his face, turn demonic because uh, he is in the same state that Ryu was. Um. Ooh. And as you cast Remove Curse on it, and you feel the spell take, it seems to still be blocked by something. Oh, but it, um, what exactly did you do to become, you know, in this predicament? Um, well, um, as I was... I'll let you explain that, because I don't want to repeat it. As I was um, hunting down demons to, mm -hmm. let's call it, um, reutilize their powers, mm -hmm. um, me and a couple of allies came upon a particularly strong ver variant of it. Uh, we ambushed it, we attacked it, and with all our strength even then it wasn't enough and this creature fought back very heavily smiting creatures one by one um smiting us one by one i mean uh, summoning others to help him we were completely overwhelmed and the only one who was able to survive was me problem was i was near death and i needed to do something to survive have some sort of food or drink and I passed out. Mm -hmm. When I came to, there was a uh, certain tiefling standing over me who had, um, who told me that he had given me a way to survive. But in order to do that, he had to slay the uh, creature that had killed us and had given me a part of its blood. Sadly enough, that also made me demonic in essence, and the demonic spread has only been furthered over time, even more ever since he resurrected me again. So, um... It does explain how Mr. Coinmaker was capable of defeating a demon and his little friends. Your little story does. Um, but the only thing that he mentioned is that if I ever wanted to be freed, I'd need blood from the same demon again, and, well, that thing's dead. But we were hoping that maybe with the coin maker's death that maybe that would work, that maybe he'd lie to us, I don't know. Blood is the same mean... demon? You skipped over that part last time. Seven is now starting to doubt himself. Pretty sure he said it, but he might have forgotten. If he did, I'm sorry. <laughs> Same here. Well, which creature did you have in mind? Hmm? Which specific creature was this story about? I have no idea, to be perfectly honest. It was big, it was dark. Do you I have any idea how little that narrows it down? I was going to yes. make the same fucking joke. <laughs> you know how little that narrows it down. Yes, well... So how about you take a day with Elvakri, explain it to her, whatever you saw, uh -huh. for scientific purposes, she really likes that, the included, and then we just, like, try to narrow it down from there with the hunter girl to see if it's still alive, or see if, if it can come back. Okay. Do you want to fit that into your downtime? Is that what I'm hearing? 
right. It's it's it's. Uh, how far are we through it now? Like three days. Uh, he would have been three days in the fourth day after Jed fourth said. Day. So yeah, yeah. it'd be the fourth day. Fourth day. And we're leaving on day six. Uh, you're leaving on day seven technically because you have six days of downtime. Right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we can try asking her. I don't know what she's up to at the moment, so. She's painting her room. <laughs> huh? And well, maybe she paint. might like a br uh, quick like break or something. Let's go and talk to her. Okay. Avakri, you see a wizard and two elves walk up to you as if they're going to take your lunch money. <laughs> Is this a start of a joke? I'm, the same thing. I'm starting to two think so. I'm legitimately starting to think this is turning into a joke. Uh, the next part of that is two elves, a wizard, and a blood hunter walk into a bar. Hey, you can find Shario, you know? She <laughs> does look really good. Thing. Two elves, a wizard, a blunt hunter, and a paladin. Walk up to Ryu. <laughs> what? Ryu is now extremely worried. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm actually quickly going to look something up. Um, out of sheer pure curiosity. Do we still have blood from from the coin maker before he turned into Nox? Uh, I would have to ask Alvakri there. Yeah. That's her thing. Did I took when blood did you gather blood of the coin maker? We didn't I gather blood yeah, I don't think so. We didn't really have the We were too late. Damn it. Okay. Just... I mean, did he even bleed or was it just black smoke? Yeah. That's yeah, fine. He mm. just disappeared and then poof. Okay, the shit back. happens. Yeah, it's like my dream that I had. I'm just thinking in theory in theory there would have been blood of the coin maker or of Nox on the floor where you attacked him. Then where, where, where Shiloh killed where him. Where Shiloh killed him, yeah. Okay. But, but it would be in like with all civilians casualties as well. So yes, indeed. it's not pure blood. Yeah, exactly. But so, if, okay. if, if one of you would have tried to gather it, I will allow you to roll for it. I want yeah. to gather it. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for that. Then, yeah. then make a survival check. <laughs> With advantage because it's a demon? <laughs> you get advantage on survival checks or only on... On survival oh, yeah, checks no. also. <laughs> uh, to to okay. track them and recall information about them, not to gather their blood. Ah. <laughs> Nine. Uh, it's very, very fucking diluted blood. <laughs> uh, sorry. There's too much dirt. Are you calling civilians dirt now? Yep. Stupid cool. dirt bloods. Exactly. Um, I don't know what I was going for, but alright. So yeah, so what are you <clears throat> doing other than that? I mean, this was Jed's suggestion to talk to El Oh, uh, yes. Uh, El Vakri, do we still have some... Uh, Before from... we can start to talk, don't touch anything. It's not dry. Okay, fine. I won't touch anything. I lean against the wall. <laughs> Fuck you, Sakrida! <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. I won't do that. Very Since nice. we're not touching Very anything, nice. I cast Arcane Hand and lift myself into the air. <laughs> <laughs> hey, of course not you Not touching do. anything is not touching anything. Oh, of course you do. So this comes out with an error message, yeah. too much weight. <laughs> Alvac, do you still have some of the blood from Nox? Uh, no. Okay. Good happens. Good. Uh, second part, um, Parrot would like to describe a demon to you. And yes. since you are a hunter of some kind of stuff, uh, perhaps you will recognize it or at least be able to narrow it down. Wait, can you, can you like can project try. images with this telepathic link of yours that you can do? Can I uh, can I just touch uh, Ferret and see in his memories as um, a little bit inappropriate? With the but okay. Nine thingy, right? <laughs> yeah. That's that's Okay. 
Uh, 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 of you know Oof. what? Oof. I'm going to allow it. A lot of NSFW content in there. <laughs> then I, I, I take my hand, Parrot, face the black. just try something, don't freak out. Okay. And I touch him. Um, I will Where? say, make... <laughs> <laughs> Did you not have... Not dead, not dead! The word of that was horrible. I will say, um, Elvakri, make an intelligence, either arcana or history check with advantage. It's gonna be... Uh... Uh, history. Yeah, it's gonna be history. Go for it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Does or doesn't? It doesn't. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, I... you saw oh, that. That was an 18. Yeah. Um, ah, wait, I'm gonna use two bullshit points because it's okay. important. Oh. Okay, go for it. Okay, and now it's only roll roll anyway. Oh, oh 17! Wait. Nice. <laughs> it pays off. It pays off. Avakri. <laughs> I get the feeling you're getting a lot of visions today. Yes. From now um, on, I get a lot of visions. <laughs> and you said this ability was bad. Nah, it's better than I, uh, I think. Sorry. You just need a great DM for it. Anyway. Um, as you um, put your hands on Ferris. His shoulder. <laughs> sure. Sakrita glares slightly, but <laughs> knows um, why she's doing it. <laughs> you all look at Ilvakri, and for a few seconds, you, you get the sense that nothing is happening. And just as you're about to ask what the fuck she's doing, uh, you all of a sudden notice how her eyes go back into the skull of her mind, in, into the back of her head, and you just see the white of her eyes. Ilvakri, uh, as this happens, you see. A um, you see a castle, a large blackened castle. You get the yeah. sense you recognize, but do you? You don't know, and you kind of your mind kind of like takes you around this castle originally doesn't necessarily seem to know where it needs to place you at which point you know how like in in like you know roller coaster rides you you go up to the top very slowly and then all of a sudden it just <laughs> dives down to the ground that's the feeling you get all of a sudden and everybody outside just hears like a small ah! from Ilvakri even though you have no <laughs> fucking clue what she's doing <laughs> Wait, I should just you shoot her, or should I? <laughs> <laughs> I can shock her. Piece of shit. <laughs> You're not there, right? Yeah, have you got hold person? <laughs> uh, I have other stuff. <laughs> it's fine. Are we really gonna make this not suited for work? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but Elvakri, you pretty much all of a sudden almost seem to fall through the ground. One, two, three, four floors. At which point you almost lose count, at which point you stop right in front of the next floor. You look up, and you see a figure that you do recognize. Um, you see a large demonic figure with blackened eyes that you fought a couple of days before. Oops. And he just, like, looks at something. And you see... Remember in the lab that you guys saw in the... In the, um, in the castle of the Daemon hideout? You saw these tubes where Ryu came out of. You see a very fucking large amount of those. If it's a hundred, it's... It's a it's hundred, it's two hundred, you don't know. It's a fucking large amount. But what you do see is that as Knox is like kind of inspecting everything, you also notice him just kind of like using some of his shadowy magic and seemingly forming something. And you notice how he forms a entity. Dark skin, dark eyes, claws, just completely made up of shadows. And that's when you come back to yourself. 
Holy shit. <laughs> he did. Well, we're having fun. What the fuck happened to you? Yeah. <clears throat> I have good news and I have bad news. Not oh, the bad. Which one do you want to hear first? Bad first. Bad first. Yeah. End on a good note. Okay. Bad news. I saw Nox. He has a basement full of the shadow figure tubes where he make Ryu shadow thing with <gasps> good yeah, he's, he's still oh. owns the fucking clones. <laughs> the things from the okay. Good news, I saw what the <laughs> what creature it was. <laughs> did you do it? Did you get a good vision of it then? Yeah, yeah, it was made of shadows. It was uh-huh. dark skinned. A demon Lake. made of shadows and dark. Uh, can can <laughs> the, you can you draw? The full description yeah, would be gonna, uh, the full description would be like a fifteen feet tall demon, two claws, and every single time it seems to move, shadows seem to kind of like come after it. You see two very like it stands on two feet and has these two large claws. Its eyes are almost as black as Nox's. Uh, it seems to have these two large horns. It almost seems to be made in Nox's image, just smaller. And it does, instead of having this aura of darkness that Nox, Nox had, you just see the shadows constantly coming off of it. Almost, if anyone has, if has ever like seen like um, Venom from from the Spider-Man thing, oh, like yeah. where like the yeah. the the yeah. instead of but instead of like the black goo, it's actually just shadow. That, like kind of comes after and like kind of reforms nice. all of a sudden and cool so that shadowy crap oh okay. bad news is Nox is still alive the good news is whatever we're hunting or it's... whatever spirit needs is back created by King. Like yeah. Nox yeah and well, do you have sure. any idea where it was you do not. It wasn't in giant castle, but yeah. castle. Hey, make castle. make a history check, old Arkry. With advantage. Not this time. Okay. Because we know where we need to get. We we need to stay away from. Never mind. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You have big castle. No idea. It's a castle. The giant. It looks like the castle from the bigger. Looked like a mansion and might belong to a guy named Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> there is a game called Mario. <laughs> the castle where Bowser is in so big. Who is Bowser? Okay. We well, have a lot of information. We have a lead, I guess. We have it's something. Yeah. It's all all I we can had do. yesterday. Wait, so we're saying that <laughs> whatever did well, this to me was in the coin maker's employ. Yes, as it turns out, yes. Yeah, uh, which that... makes sense. As, makes even more sense as to why he could kill it so easily, as he made it. And obviously saw an opportunity to get a new, I don't know, Recuse. lackey. Because you were near death. Fucker! He is the god of chaos and darkness, after all. Chaos and, and the darkness. Of oh, I thought it was darkness and coats. So. I thought it was darkness and coats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really like coats. I like coats too. Sequina, I like your coat. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, okay, I, so I like yours, even though you're not wearing it right now, but I like yours. Can't okay. beat it, join it. Just a fucking... All right. Bloody suggestion. Um... Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, apart from uh, the rules for Art the Cart, that's everything it's... downtime wise. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. At that point, I'd uh, I'd just thank El Barker and uh, oh, can we just bottle, like give her a bottle of wine and then uh, yeah. head off back to my room? Oh now. yeah, a bottle of wine. Go to the mon- monster uh, monster put that at the back of holding mm-hmm. guild <laughs> and see if they can like find uh, something like in the downtime in the coming weeks if they know something about if like a special 
information wanted about this creature. Sure, you can set that up. They wouldn't yeah. have it on file immediately, but they will look for I it. I know. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Um, I room, back to drawing to myself. And like, you can hide that now, Ferris. You can. That away. <laughs> All right. That's better. With that in mind, I guess we're going to wolf pine, unless. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I have to note something. Okay. Uh, give me a couple of seconds as I set this up. Lars? Yes? Would I use every research I, I uh, crafted or not? Sorry, what? Like the paint and the wax <clears throat> and so. Yeah. Do I uh, use everything of it or do I have things? I think you would have used everything, yeah. Okay. okay. That's good. Do you, do you have the new recipes already? Uh, yeah. Uh, she made... Uh, you you yeah. see that she has like a bottle of Alchemist Frost as well. That she made. Oh. Nice. Where is my list here? God damn it. So how how long has the travel from here to Wolfheim? Four days. Four. Okay. Alright. And are you are you an alchemist, apothecary, or tincturer? Tincturer. Tincturer. Ooh. Yep. Yep, yep. That was the coolest one. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, actually. That is true. Uh, hold on a second. Stuff is being annoying. Yeah, all right. All right. Cool. So, with six days of travel, I guess I'm just going to go from left to right. Lavarkri, roll me a d20. Okay. Nine. Nine, 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 nine. Yes, 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 yes. Nine and nine is no balloons. Uh, no, not that. All right. Come on. Nine. Uh, nine. Well, that would have been a great storm, but you have a Ryu with you. <laughs> ah. Aww. No, let, down, me be down in your, let me be the party's umbrella. Exactly. Umbrella. So and, uh, one uh, out of four days. Eh, eh, eh. Eh. Ryu is an umbrella. <laughs> uh, Ryu, roll two. Umber Ryu. Umber Ryu. What am I doing? Uh, you're rolling D20. encounters. Yeah. Just to roll a d20. Just a flat d20? Did we not, yep. Indeed. Did we not get a, a rest at the end of that day? Yeah, 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 you did, you did, you did. But could I use four oh. hours for my time? Yeah, pretty much every single one of the four days you can add four hours to your uh, okay. uh, 16 hours. How close are you getting? Uh, if I used the four hours for these four days, I'd be ten hours away. Oh, oh shit. Lars, is it cheating mm -hmm. if Sekuda dons the headband of Ventilate? Uh, yes, because it wouldn't have worked for yep. the entire 700 the 200 hours. 200 hours. Okay, 700, <clears throat> 700 hours. I really uh, it's not 700 hours. I, it's sorry. It's I'm, I'm confusing 7,000 gold pieces in 200 hours for some weird reason. Sorry. I hope you make the checks. Uh, we all do. Um, four advantage on stealth checks. Oh. As you all walk, yes. you all of a sudden hear. Oh no! Oh. oh. Art. <laughs> As you all try to steal the ribbon this time. <laughs> As you all look, you all see this large cart oh. right towards you. No fucking way. Oh damn. Thank God. Whichever one. Uh you do Thank you, you do get the sense that he's kinda like redecorated a little bit. Um uh, specifically at the front window, there seems to be a large spattering of some sort of a red goo. Um, mm -hmm. Which, if you look closer at it, it seems to be blood of some kind. 
Can sure. I uh, take the blood, blood for uh, research? <laughs> you can certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> I try. <laughs> Uh, but pretty much it rides up next to you with Elvokri like hanging on the windshield trying to get blood off of it. Uh, make a survival check in the meantime. Um, at which point it just like stops there, stands still for like a couple of seconds, at which point WHAM! Door just smacks open and you just see a skull kind of like looking at you. Hey! I know you fuckers! Oh, long time no see. Yeah! But you've been whining a lot! That I have. Yes! Everyone says that for no reason at all. Must be no them. Yeah, must, must be them. Must be them. So, I have a bottle full of souls. Uh, can Perfect. a bottle ever be full of souls? No. Okay. Souls are weightless. It's kind of a fun little feature of them. Nice. Yeah, you can. Th this baby can hold so many souls. Just ask <laughs> fresh. Yes, it's fucking... Exactly. Who the fuck's Thresh? Have you ever <laughs> thought that that might be my name? Ha-ha! Oh, wait, he can't uh, point. You just see a mage hand appear. Ha-ha! Oh, I can do that too. Bigby's hand. <laughs> he just kind of, like, looks a... at it. At which point, you just see, like, a second Bigby's hand appear that's, like, twice as big as yours. High five. Oh, oh it's just a, a skull, right? Yeah. The skull yeah. inside yeah. of the uh, the carriage. Inside that... the car, yeah. yeah inside the, the, the car. The, does he feel like demonic in any way? Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> oh, fuck Sakura, yes. Sakura has, she has like a mixed feelings about him. She's like, I don't like his trade, but I, I kind of like him. Ooh. Oh, shit. Guy. I like you too. You want a bottle? She doesn't say it out loud. Yes. Oh. Hey, I see one of your oh. friends doesn't have a bottle. She want a bottle? Eh, not no. not at this point, I suppose. Aww. I, I oh, will well. pass on that, thank you. Okay, perfect. Anyway, <coughs> what's up? I would like to, you know, the, the, do you have the books as well? The books that make me smarter, if I read them? Buddy, oh, there aren't there's enough not a single book yet. in existence that can make you smarter. <laughs> But yes, I do have books that make you smarter. Uh, okay. To any Ad adding a, adding a <laughs> I like the art of uh, also a little bit. Okay. Okay. The, the, this demonic entity can live. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, he's a skull. This Sorry, one will be the last one to go. Can unlive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, question What was the general um, cost again for very rare, rare, and legendary? Uh, uh, it depends two for... on the hours. Um, yeah. But I think it's eight for a rare item. Uh, Twenty very 20 rare. for a very rare. Two for a yeah. uncommon. Oh, one for a yeah. common. Yep. Um, and legendary. Forty. Forty yeah. usually. Woo! Yeah, that one's spicy. And what did you guys buy off of already? The gauntlets, right? Nothing. Uh, I um, bought the the shield, okay. the plus two. Oh, the shield, shield, and then the amulet of health. Oh, the amulet for Shiloh. Right, right, right. Surprisingly little. All right, I wouldn't have minded both. I have uh, twenty souls. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a tome of understanding. Uh, give me a second. Tome of understanding. Yes. Was oh no wait understanding is wisdom. Oh, of my life. So you get a wisdom to no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to you. Uh, you should totally ask for the tomb of leadership and influence. Yes, please. <laughs> yes. Maybe you'll Maybe actually make it. a persuasion check at yeah. that point. Tomb of clear thoughts. Yes. So are you asking for a tome of clear thought? Yes, please. Right. Uh, as you uh, look at uh, Art the Cart and ask him that, he just goes, Really? You want a book? Yeah. That's boring. I know. I mean, you're a wizardy you type. But yeah. okay. And you just see, like, as he, like, you see the soul bottle kind of, like, goes into his mage hand. He, like, kind of drops it up. He, like, kind of, like, tries to just, like, you know, like a ketchup <laughs> bottle that's almost, like, yeah. empty. He's, like, you know, like, starts tapping it on the topic. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you see, like, foop, 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 20 souls just go, like, out of it. All of them <laughs> combine. 
get like this darkened glow. At which point he just eats them. <sighs> Tasty. And you just see a book uh, appear oh. right in front of him. There you go. Thank you very much. Happy dealing with you. Oh, happy dealing with you. Oh, Anything else? Dealing with you. Hmm. I am. I have sixteen. So if I have like four, I can get something really good, maybe. You can but have I'm, one of. Mine. I might want to save up for the legendary because I, I, I'm technically halfway there almost. The legendary would be very nice, but then again, mm, half of it would be kind of wasted. Oh, you have wasted. There's a point. Kind of. How many souls do you have? Then. Wait. Let me check what my <clears throat> their abilities are. I have resistance. Uh, 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 as a player, I am so tempted to go. Can anyone lend me some? Because I'd really like an oak bow. <laughs> uh, legendary. It's very rare. Oh, oh that would it's be twenty. Funny. But it guarantees me advantage on a certain target, oh, regardless. Don't. I never say. Uh, and then extra three d six damage if I hit. Bye. Uh, it's all set. Why can't I find it anymore? What are you looking for? Uh, which ability gives me um, resistance? You're to level six, light? I think. Yeah, but it's it, it, I, did, I didn't put the leveling thing on it. Is it Storm Guide? No, that's the one where I uh, control the weather around me. Wrath of the Storm? No, that's my cleric one. Wind Speaker? No. Where the fuck? Always the last one you pick. Let's be Heart of the about. Storm. Yeah, but it's in al alphabetical order, so oh. part of the storm. Yeah, so I gain resistance to lightning. Okay, so ooh, yeah, <laughs> interesting. Okay, I, that means I could be immune to it if you if if I were to get the legendary item. Okay, immune to lightning, but I can't get that at the moment. But I, I'm I'm deciding whether or not I want to buy something that is very rare, or if I want to save up for a big purchase. I think you should get me something now. How much is very rare? Twenty. Twenty on average. What does he have that could you use for some? Oh no, wait. My soul's already spoken for because I have that agreement. Mm. Yes. Thing what can I get for two souls? Nothing. Oh yeah. What so what level spell? What uh, level spells could could I get for the one, two, three souls? Oh, you can get two spells. souls. Um, yeah, because uh, the spells are surprisingly cheap, I think. Where's my Xanathar's book? Uh, I can help you find normally. Yeah, because uh, I, I do need to know. We do right. need to know that before I can decide if I can yeah. buy anything uh, else. Second level and third level is uncommon. Uh, fourth and fifth level are rare. So and... technically, one, two, three would be one because it's a consumable, and consumables only take half the time. So it'd be one soul for a uh, one, two. Three. Uh, one, two, or three, first, second, or third second level spells or rules. Level. I can speak English, you guys. England, this is my city. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Nobody knows that. I, oh. I, I know, I know that. I don't know where it's from, but I've heard that quite. Yeah, often. I don't know where it's from exactly either, but uh, yeah, I remember. I, I remember uh, yeah. But I'm the only one here. There's actually there. Well, uh, me, but yeah. Could I have a spell slot for Fireball as well? Yes. You need to pick it up at the point. Okay. No one did. Like, opens things. up his mouth. Fireball. <laughs> you see the white right. soul. That's all my souls accounted for. You just see, like, a but they piece of paper fall. You nice. do see that it's written. Like, it's, it's, like, usually it's, like, black ink on a white scroll. Now it's white ink on a black scroll. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Ryu, what you doing? What you uh, I'm do? thinking about it. I can what also get like do? a book, or I can get a, um, or I can save up for the big one. Okay, Beautiful. so the big one would give me very cool things like lingering shock. If I deal lightning damage, they lose their reaction. It's like shocking What's the item? everything. Uh, it's a blue dragon mask, uh, which I'm not even sure if it. It's an official item, but it's from a supplement book, so I'm not sure if uh, Lars even allows it. It's from the Rise of Tiamat supplement. So uh, I don't know if you... have that book here, I think. 
No, I do not. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, so I don't so, know no. if you could run it or not, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> you uh, get legendary resistance. Uh, yeah, I get one legendary resistance per day. Uh, I get dragon tongue, which is useless because I already have that. Um, that I, get no... I get extended dark vision, which is not that useful. I already have dark vision, so it's just extended. Uh, Dragon's breath, I do not have, which is mostly meant for dragonborns, I guess. I don't have that, so th that's also wasted. Uh, the I draconic majesty would be wasted, uh, unless I get like <laughs> really fucking high charisma, because at the moment I have such good armor that it's not useful. And the damage absorption would make it so that I have immunity to lightning damage, which is nice. But and now you would take a charisma book. Yeah, otherwise I would take a tomb of leadership and influence, which which will make my charisma to twenty two, which is the very charisma, nice. Yeah, the charisma tomb helps, you know, is is less traceable. Yeah, that also shadow item. Yeah, because the well, the mask is a small mask at least, right? I do the same thing with the shield. If I go into a city, I, yeah, I exchange my shields, but it's That's a small fine. thing. So but... imagine Ryu was thinking all of this in the space of was like one second. Twelve seconds. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I've, I, th I thought about it last time as well. I was just like considering it, but obviously I didn't have enough souls at all. But now I'm like halfway, so now it's like a considerable. Hey, and we're going to a war. Yeah, exactly. But I think just having the 22 might be worth it because that's going to really buff me up. Your call? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go call. for a Tome of Leadership and Influence. However, I need four more souls from someone that I can lend, maybe. I don't know if anyone has four souls left. Because I'm like nope. If anyone yeah. has so don't, don't look at me, I don't even have a bottle. I don't have souls. Shallow, Shallow needs her eight for the Ring of Spell storing. Ah, okay. as, tempt as tempting as it is for that bow, nope. Well, then I am getting jack shit. Okay. Sorry, we... cards. Maybe next time. What could the other thing get me, though? If I like eight souls, what could it get me with him? What, what does he currently have? I, a, I need to think about it. Anything that's rare, pretty much. Anything that's rare. So, like, oh, yeah. there's a lot of things, and I'm not going to name all of them. <laughs> there's a lot. Yeah. Um, I just made like a list a long time ago of things that could be useful. I mean, you uh, can get something rare for free. Just look at the clip in chat. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we love you too, buddy. We love you too. Uh, you one can... item that is nice, that is rare, that I have on my list is a ring of evasion. Uh, you have three charges, and you can uh, you can you, you can choose to succeed on a deck save. The ring of spell storing. I can okay. fill it with greater invisibility as well as shield or absorb element. Yeah, ring of spell yeah. storing is pretty good. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, the ring of spell storing it is then. Okay. Then I will. So pretty much the eight next souls go into it, and you just see a small ring appear. Hey, go! God, you people have a lot of souls. Yes. You've been busy. I only have yeah. one, and it's my own. I also all of a sudden. Do you though? Are you sure you have your soul? We're in a demon-infested world. You never know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have. Okay, good. I'm not so sure I have one. That seems like something you should talk to a therapist about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, regardless, uh, anything else? Let's be honest. Wrong windows, the blood, blood spatters really make your ruby eyes come out, I don't know. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I had something. Okay. Did you hit someone? It might be someone, I don't know. You yeah. do realize that I'm not sitting at the front of the fucking car, I can't I know, I know, see I where I'm going. Why do you <laughs> think that 20% of the time that you call me, I fall inside of a fucking pit? Oh, that's sad. I, I, I'll i call this. Just need better set enough. I mean, that's not the point I was trying to make, but I would appreciate it if you stopped calling me every <laughs> fucking five minutes. It's always where is art card, but it's never how is art card. Exactly, you know? <laughs> Although sometimes is, we uh... ask who is art the card. You don't want to know Are that. Trust better? me, it's not Why interesting. Are you just 
if it is like this, just say no. Are you a demon lord in disguise? Wait, what? Are you a demon lord in disguise? No. Okay. It's fine. Are you lying? <laughs> no. Can I do a little I would say. I don't want, I, I wanna, I wanna see like <laughs> You want to insight demon... check a skull? Go for it. Yeah, I was about to say, I want to insight. Mostly like to try and see if like uh, the voice, I guess. I don't know. See if I can. Make an insight yeah. check. I don't think it's, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to be very easy, but especially <laughs> since I'm not even that good at it. But actually, oh, I'm surprisingly good at it. Never mind. I'm starting to get slightly paranoid. <laughs> Imagine every soul that we fucking give him just gives him like 10 extra HP. That's um, fine. He'll never. Oh, like, shit. He just yeah. like looks at you. Uh, he's hard to read. It's a fucking cart, you know? Hmm. Yeah, he's actually the BBEG. By the time we fight him, he's got like 17,000 HP. Yes. So if you need a lot of souls, just march westward from here. Uh, in okay. a couple of days. In a couple of days, there'll be there will be a big fight. So you seem to have a lot of faith back. in the ability of me to navigate. Yeah. It's misplaced. Uh, Harry. Yeah, that's. Uh, and, I mean, if you want a lot of like, souls, just go to Anor like Londo in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Joke, no one got. Hi. Anyhow, um, we'll see you next time. Safe, uh, safe-ish travels, I suppose. Thank you. <laughs> Dork shuts. At which point, Elvarkri gets like thrown off the front with like a little, <laughs> with like a little thingy of blood. Ha! Do I have? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> It's just like, you literally just hear like a voice come from the cart. Hey! I can see out of my front window again. Interesting. Nice. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you, Elvakri. He just keeps on going. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so, hello. Our arrangement was 2K for of the <laughs> Ring of Spells to ring. <laughs> to be filled with greater invis. Got Charlotte with greater invis. Ugh. Dead, dead, don't, don't scare me oh. like that. Oh. But at least it's not me. At least he has to get in, she has to get into melee. You already have greater invis, okay? It's fine. <laughs> I, I don't. Yet. Give me an, an extra ten hours on top of what I can get. Oh, fuck. No shadow. What, what was the name of that tattoo again, by the way? Sorry, Jeff. Go for it. That's fine. Do you transfer the 2k funds? Fuck something. Uh, yeah, I... I transferred the 2k funds to Jed to uh, provide me with said ring. Uh, absorb elements or shield? What do you prefer? Mm, I think shield is more useful for now. Well, and it's filled with shield as well. One greater invis, one shield. Perfect. But is my greater invisibility? Do you have a ring of spell story? <laughs> 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 Did I you just give realized me the... I can magically flip through my book. Look. <laughs> You're a wizard, Liam. You're a lizard, Liam. No, it's, it's a lizard, got... William, at that point. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's because I got a fan on, so that's why. How much gold pieces do you want? I don't have the souls for it at the moment, but it would be 6k. I'm gonna look. <laughs> No, we found we found the things for the tattoos after we killed the Monster of Ink, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, not gonna yeah. happen. It's fine. Uh, what tattoo was it? Uh, Shadowfall, right? <clears throat> that's what I'm. That's what I'm looking for. Shadowfall. Uh, provides dark vision advantage on stealth yep. checks, half damage once per day. Uh, if you didn't have it, you'd receive dark vision up to sixty feet. Yeah, Sh Shadowfell brand. There you go. Yep. Okay. Nice. Just, damage one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. just to be sure. Found it. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> cool. Anyway, um, with that, Shalom, roll me a d20. A d20. Okay. Yes, yes please. Please, please. Could be good, could be bad. I don't know. Uh, Let's see. Natural 20s are always great, right? Yes. Yeah, Find. not an encounter rolls. Uh, natural 20, nothing happens. Ah, I thought it was, it was the, the beast that we were hunting for. Fred. No. That would be cool. 
<laughs> Sakura, roll the last one if you please. Okay. 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 Cool. I'll go for it. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, great storm, which again doesn't happen because you have a Ryu with you. <laughs> we have the it's just like, hey, look, half of my encounter chart is fucking useless now. Ryu's umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A, A. So that would be the four days of travel to get to uh, Wolfspine. Yep. I keep switching between Wolfpine and Wolfspine, and I still haven't decided which mm. one I'm going to keep. <laughs> Wolfspine. Perfect. Um, what do the, 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 the people at home think? Wolfspine or Wolfpine? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we need to name this city after we've conquered it? Should, should I make a poll? <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> Maybe at some point. <laughs> Um, all right, so with that in mind, that leaves you guys with two more days before the actual attack on the city. Now, I am going to warn you, um, you probably don't want to, like, rest up within the city, because that oh, one's no. kind of infested. <laughs> with demons? Sort of. Okay. Giant cockroaches. Oh my god, no. Please, no. Anything can be a demon these days, God. They're even using cockroaches, God. I don't have anything in my life that's certain now. Uh, so by the way, I, if, if there's people who still have lingering damage, <laughs> you would have had your six days of downtime, so that would be gone, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that already. <clears throat> fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So we have two days. Now yes. that we've arrived, they're just outside, that we... Have time to just prep. Yep. yep. We have prep time. Can I finish my tattoo? Uh, two, da, two, da, two, well, two, yes. Da. <laughs> I realized that the moment you, I realized that you had four days of travel. I was uh, like, ah, oh, fuck. So I only need ten hours now. Yep. Yeah, so you be able to finish it on day one for you because you have twelve hours in a day. Oh, please. So uh, two hours spare to lament over failing the check. Exactly. Is it? It's a wisdom check, right? How, how many? Uh, uh, I think it's dex. I believe you said it was dex because I asked about it. Before. Oh yes, yeah. dex plus. Uh, uh, tattoo, uh, tattoo tools, which. Yeah. I don't think Would you is. like to uh, lend this uh, beautiful amulet? amulet? Oh, that, oh, that very nice looking anchor. Oh yes. <laughs> Very nice, thank you. Uh, hand, <laughs> yeah, I hand over the uh, the amulet for when the half. Sequoia doesn't have seven fucking bullshit points or something. I don't know. Look, we need this to succeed. Yes. <laughs> Do we? Yeah. We're shoving uh, every so... fucking point we can. Pretty uh, much. Let me think. It's a rare item, so this would be a DC fifteen check. Ooh. All right. So I add my dex. Uh, flat text. Fair. Do you have? Did we use the 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 demon captain, ink, huh? which gives a plus two? Uh, I use yes. master of inking. Master of inking, which would be plus four. So I get Do a we plus have eleven. Master of inking. Yeah, you uh, gave it to me. Plus eleven. Did I give you? How did you get to plus eleven? Uh, oh, it's nine. I was looking at the wrong number. Uh, nine. Uh, five from Dex. Four from Master of Uh I don't have proficiency in the T tool, so no. I can't use that. Oh, so it's just nine. Yep. <laughs> nine and bullshit points. Come on, let's go. Right, okay. Okay, oh, so uh, how cool. many hours? Six or seven hundred hours in game doing this tattoo all comes down to this. We are all way too invested in this right now. <laughs> uh, we're all right. fucking waiting. Especially since if you make this check. Ooh. Yes! 18, yeah, that's that's enough. So, um, as you're all sitting there for the last day of prep, because <laughs> this would technically be during during the night, because it's 10 hours, so it'd be going into the nightly yeah. hours. But like, all of a yeah. sudden, all four of you are just, like, awake, just, like, looking yes. at, like, Sequita doing, like, the last bit of things. Yeah, they're all staring at me, I'm just doing this. <laughs> <laughs> With like a small needle, just like. You're so vain. 
Oh, wow. At which point <laughs> you see back. Sekura putting the last dots of the tattoo there. And, like, finishing some sort of incantation. Because it would be arcane in this case. Um, at which point you're all looking at this. Nothing happens. You all, for a second, think you failed. Uh -oh. And Jed, right at the moment, as you want to like go to Sequoia and just go like, "I'm sorry that it didn't work," you just see Sequoia completely like disappear from sight. <laughs> it worked. Sequoia, where are you? Sequoia, <laughs> Sequoia, my life means nothing what without Sequoia. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. Uh, one small thing though, Liam. Uh, could you please roll me a d100? Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, you don't get to speak for a day. A 90. What a plant. You're changing in a plant. No, you become a woman. You all notice nothing. Yes. <laughs> nothing happened. We notice nothing. We notice nothing. Oh, notice nothing. That, that didn't mean nothing happens. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. Say something. Do something. Uh, say something. Okay. Hang on. I predict say something. Say something. I predict a message in my future. I predict a message in my future. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you now? Do you predict the messenger in your future? Where did you get that weird idea? I have Sekuda. no idea. I don't know. Can you really become resistant for one damage? <clears throat> anyway, you... um, carry on. What are you guys I doing? I actually committed to the bell. Years? I actually drew on my own, by the way. Um, what am I doing? Sekuda! Now you do have this tattoo. Stop mission! Yes! <laughs> uh, by the way, Lars, in the traveling time, how much downtime do I get for my tattoo? Zero. Just no... You know, Zero. because like Sekura would be able to do yeah, that because she because has to rest okay. only for four hours. Okay. You don't. Okay. Can I go, please? Go. Nope. No. Nope. Please. No. I'm gonna be kind. Please. No. <laughs> no. So it's like a stealth mission to see whatever is going on inside the city. Want to go? You know, <laughs> pass without trace and invisibility. I just see Liam looking at his screen. Oh, I love this already. Can I go, please? <laughs> okay, then. Uh, nothing happened. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you take off your arm. Uh, Deal. Shit. <laughs> three seconds of Valkyrie is buck naked. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. <clears throat> Sekura stealth mission to see what's going on inside the city. See if you can lay a booby trap of some sort. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can respond to that message. I might have to, just have to use Discord. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, extra context. <laughs> That's all the context you get, buddy. <laughs> Fill it in whatever way you like it. <laughs> I don't... Okay, so so okay, so that's on me then. I have to figure that out. Yeah, go for it. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy. You might get bullshit points for it. <laughs> Everybody's waiting in anticipation. Come on, Sekuida. Okay. Okay. Because I know people and I'm, my character is worn. I. You see Sakura stand up. Mm -hmm. Look at. Uh, admire her now badass tattoo. Oh, Look at all of you. And then just lift her shirt up. 
<laughs> As I'm a faithful husband, I look away. <laughs> Technically, Charlotte is a woman as well, so you know. <laughs> right? Not what yeah. I was expecting, but okay. Yeah. Puts it back down again. Uh... This went weird, uh, weird enough that I now need a snack <laughs> to contemplate. <laughs> you see Charlotte yes. walk away. <laughs> Sakura, just for the record, you are not the shack snack Shadow needs. <laughs> she puts the shell back down again and it's all. Starts running around in circles, but also jumping and turning midair. Remove curse. <laughs> and then, for some reason, starts dancing. Nothing happens. Whisper <laughs> <Bispa> magic. <laughs> okay. Sequida lost her mind. I go on a stealth mission. <laughs> Nothing happens with the spell magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> then she stops jumping, she starts dancing, and then she runs off in a direction directly towards a tree. She runs into the tree, but continues to try and keep running. <laughs> oh, the funny oh, thing is, I know exactly where you're going for. <laughs> it's nothing better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sakura, make a list of safe. At it's advantage, because I think that's a charm, right? Uh, yeah, if so. it's a charm, yeah. Uh, oh. I'm pretty sure it's charmed, yes. Yeah. 18. Oh, fuck, it's my save as well. <laughs> Sakura, what are you doing? I don't know if that succeeded or not, so... It succeeds. 18 right, it succeeds, yeah. She's... Uh... <laughs> I think but... we're playing <laughs> a game a game of she just hides hints. She just right. hides. I'm like imagining so... that Sekuda just like like Tony Tony Chopper from One Piece just like hides but she's like on the other side of the tree so she's perfectly visible. <laughs> yeah. She's just like on the other side of the tree, you go. If there ever was a moment to have modified memory, it would have been now. <laughs> but alas. But alas. Yeah. You just hear anyone who saw that owes me 10 gold. <laughs> you Earth, owe, you're fine. You owe me 10 gold for therapy, buddy. <laughs> oh, Ferith just like looks at this and just goes, what the fuck is going on? I don't, I don't know. know. I can yeah. imagine he was probably thinking, like, I've been wanting to see that for years. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the first like, time this happened. Yeah. I think she's going... Can I kind of tell them what the effect was? Yeah, sure, go for it. <laughs> the effect was... Uh, well, it was uh, I succeeded on the check, so it's gone now, but... Uh, until the day of the war, or to see the check, um, you gain the following floor. You are being controlled by someone or something as part of some sort of game. <laughs> That's why I went, but I'm playing a woman's, and obviously a lot of, lot of guys play female characters, yeah. lifts up shirt, runs around in circles, jumps. Yes. Yeah, nice. Running into a tree because I've got auto run on. Cool. Oh, sorry. You stand before an object, go like, I can't pass. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, that's funny as shit. Uh, oh, really damn. Glad <laughs> oh. you're back with us. It's still hiding behind a tree. Yeah, probably. Weird side effects from tattoos, God. So, <laughs> that was, that was great. now that you're back to the living, how about a little stealth mission? You hear nothing. Okay. I can't. I can't. Okay. The Valkyrie, how about yes. a little star <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's not going to go terribly wrong. No, it doesn't. Okay. I put off my armor for you. Oh, yeah. 
Great. So, here's the thing. Oh, God. Do you know how long an hour it takes? <laughs> You know, an hour takes 60 minutes, which is, yes. okay, so, okay, you know what, yes. I'll just send you when you're 45 minutes through, that way, I'll send you every 15 minutes, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Better, I make a telepathic link with you. Up to 100 feet? Yep. No. I'm not coming with you. Uh... If you get caught, please try to survive until tomorrow. Or get the fuck out. Okay. I cost invisibility. Now it's up to you, buddy. So, Varker, you're doing a stealth mission? Yeah. Okay. So. Make a stealth check with advantage. <laughs> <clears throat> I I did my armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, you so... Can I ignore the disadvantage? Uh, yeah, easy. I think that's why. How do you? Asked. How do you mm -hmm. put it off? Here, just roll twice with advantage. Uh, it's plus four. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, this is gonna go so badly. Twenty-three. So bad. Twenty-three. Uh, that's you. Right. I would say you all see the fuck relief, but you don't. Um. Elvakri starts to trud towards uh, the town of Wolfpine. Um, Wolfpine. Sure. As you get there, a um, couple of things. First of all, this is more of a ruin of a town than an actual town at this point. There are still mm -hmm. remains of houses. There are probably still a couple of people, maybe, that live there, and they'd probably be the insane ones. Um, but this is more of a, a ghost town than anything else. Honestly, put a couple of cowboys here and you'd have a fucking western. Yeah. Um, apart from the fact that the <clears throat> town itself also seems to be mostly frozen solid. As in, it's really fucking cold here. Um, right. not in a way that it's going to affect you during combat or whatever, but just it's cold here. It's more territory that tends to happen. Um, and then you go closer and closer. Now, for those of you who maybe slightly remember, you know that Wolfpine is kind of like on the center of Imanod. Um, one of the big things there is there is a river that runs from the Lone Mountain at the east through Relics and then goes entirely to the west. So that river is there, and there's one bridge that crosses that river, a pretty sturdy looking stone bridge. You get to that bridge, and then you look towards the other side. At the other side, currently standing kind of still, stands an army. You see a large group of creatures, mostly skeletal slash zombie-like, that are standing there, just waiting. Just swords in front of them barely moving, looking ahead, eyes, either no eyes or completely dead eyes. And every now and again you just hear the cracking of a bone that like slightly moves. But there's See? something weird about them, and for that, Elvakri, I would like you to make me a perception check. And I would allow you to make it with advantage because you can get it pretty close. No, you don't get it from your Blood Hunter ability. You get it because you're invisible and you rolled a 23 on stealth. <laughs> okay. But you needed a 19 to do it. I rolled a 9 and got a 23. I was Just saying. A perception? Yes, perception. With advantage. Uh, 9. 9. It is a large army. Yeah. Nice. It's big. What you doing? Uh... <laughs> So uh, it's just skeletons? Skeletons, zombies, zombies stuff like that. Okay. Do I see any flying creatures? No. Nope. Okay. Small question. Okay. You say there was a river. Yes. It's very cold. 
Yes. Is that ever frozen? No. Okay, stretch. Okay. Um, like, pretty much it's cold here, and there's snow, but the river itself seems to have a strong enough pull where it can just break through any kind of ice. Ah, okay. And is there something I see in the city? Uh, destroyed houses, dead people. But more than that, nothing. Not really. Okay, chat say one hour. This is the moment How... where you get the first message from Jet. This is 50 minutes then. What's yeah. going on? Okay. Uh, we didn't I hear anything respond? you said, Chad. Just so you know. uh, uh, how are you doing? What's going on? If you <clears> get <throat> called, it's on you. Good luck. <laughs> I can respond on that. Mm -hmm. You have to 25 words. Um, ba -ba -ba uh, the city is destroyed. Nothing in the city itself. Big army. Zombies, skeletons, dead shit. Oh, ten, ten words. If you need them. Ten words. River words. is worstly, uh, the river is not frozen, funny enough. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Four words left. Uh... <laughs> well, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck four words left. It's canon. <laughs> it's canon now. I don't know, like, we're getting it. I got it. Then I tell her how to respond to Sandra. <laughs> you did not. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I, you, well, the, I relay the information. Eyes. Yep. Hey, to be fair, I think the answer was pretty decent. Just the last hey, few words. Hey, it was great. Great answer. <laughs> All right, Avakri, what you doing? I. Uh, Forgot to say to uh, to ask Chad if I go further or not. Tough luck, buddy. Yeah. What would Alvakri mm. do? Well, yeah, Alvakri. she goes further. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> so you're crossing the bridge? Uh, no, I inspect the bridge. If I see some booby traps, make an investigation check. With advantage because... <laughs> no, it's not demonic, no. Good try. It's not a demonic bridge, no. At least not as you know. It's going to turn into mimic in a second, but yeah. that's not a demon, so... <laughs> I, I was going to say as well. It's a mimic. 23. 23. Uh, it is actually a pretty sturdy bridge, and it does not seem to be booby-trapped. Then I go further. Okay. You walk over the bridge. Um, it creaks a little, but not like immensely where it would really honestly like the creaks you make would probably even still be attributed to like wind or whatever uh but it it seems pretty sturdy you even like if you if you like would give it like a small jump it still wouldn't move or anything um <laughs> as you move closer uh make me another stealth check please still with advantage because you're invisible yes it's still uh oh Nice. 21. Okay. Uh, you get closer, closer, closer. Um, as you get closer, you you don't, like, get up in the face of this army, I would assume. Um, no, you no, also no. don't I'll need to. Keep my distance. Here's the thing. As you're... Actually, before I say that, make another perception check with advantage for me. With advantage? Yes. Nice. So now you're close enough to actually spot it. I'm not going to answer that. Yeah. Oh, 15. 15. Um, as you look at this army, now that you're getting closer, there's one thing that you already found a little, a little weird, like the way the skeletons and, and such were standing there. Now it kind of becomes apparent, as you notice how a lot of these skeletons seem to have this almost wolf-like fur to them. Ooh. There's the Stark family. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That wasn't a good one, but I'll give you a bullshit point for it. 
Um, but pretty much they seem to have fur to them. And every now and again, now you start to hear more sounds, which seem to be more in terms of growling rather than just like the normal creaking of bones. Oh, shit. And with a 15, because that was not the thing that I let you make the perception check for. With a 15, you all of a sudden also hear, coming from kind of like the side of the army, uh, a large amount of creatures, four-legged creatures that seem to be running somewhere. Just like sprinting, just like... In circles, or... You don't know, you just hear them, you don't see them. Okay. Damn it, I'm tempting. Um... I can I take a rock? Sure. And throw it to the river. If and see if the skeletons respond on that. Oh. I'm now very much debating whether or not that's treated as an attack. <laughs> yes. But technically oh. you would be able to just drop the rock into the river because you're not actually attacking someone with ah, it, so shit, I'll, yeah. I'll, let it, attack, then, I'll 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 um, let it slide for now. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Um but you let's just say that you drop the rock because you have 19 intelligence, so you remember this. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Just like, like falls like into the river, before. just like a small thingy. Those skeletons they don't even budge. They just stand there. That's strange. That's very strange. Uh, what else can I do? I should yet to all the decisions. <laughs> Uh, oh, look. See how, like, one of the skeletons just, like, falls to dust or to, to bones, and three seconds later, wow. rebuilds itself. Nice. And nobody else moves. Do I see buildings after the bridge? Uh, yeah, like but towers again, or... not towers, but just like, again, still collapsed buildings, houses, whatever, stuff like that. Just that. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we'll be getting a lot of souls out of this battle. No. The souls are gone. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. That's why I said I think. Okay. Then I go back mm -hmm. to the city. Mm-hmm. And I will look if I find something that destroyed this city. Make an investigation check. With advantage? No. <laughs> it's good that you keep asking, but no. 20. 20. Um, the destruction of the town itself seems to be more a result of this literally being the front line of the war between... Uh, Mordred and Ariana, to be perfectly honest. It's mostly flame, cold, people that got stabbed, shanked, beaten to death, whatever. Like, the the amount of ways that buildings were destroyed or people were killed is so, like, vast that honestly, this is just chaos, war, death. You're legitimately standing on one of the big areas where Mordred and Ariana used to fight until you guys started to interfere with it. Okay. Then I <clears throat> go back to the group. Okay. Uh, but before I go back, I will make some small... Uh, some things... A small thingy for the the people that uh, uh, lay uh, their lives in the okay. city for the war. In the some middle of that, you all of a sudden get a. Or in the middle of that, you get a second message from Jed. <laughs> okay. You're halfway there, buddy. Um, any more intel? 
I hope you're not caught. Now that I come to think about it, this seems like a bad idea. <laughs> the pooping? Pooping? No, all, all, no, all, all he heard was, this seems like a... Oh, God. <laughs> I uh, respond. Uh, the skeletons, uh, no, the undead people look very funny. They look like wolves. I heard some creatures running around in the army. Six, and six left. Yeah. Six left. And all the people in the city died. No! <laughs> and all the people all in the... the people in the... <laughs> yeah, sorry. And all the people in the... You know, if, if you didn't know that there were 25 words and that's where the message cuts mm-hmm. off, you'd think he was, she was gone, right? Like... Yeah. <laughs> now this... Is... Now I know it's a bad idea. Like, come on, suck it out, get over yourself. But next time, you know. <laughs> you didn't just flash everyone your tits. Fine, if that's what it takes. <laughs> fine. Oh, fine. Hey, be happy that the, you know, that the player wasn't trying to do friendly fire. <laughs> oh, I considered Jesus. it, but yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. So... Uh, Alvacri, you make a small shrine. You don't need to roll for that. Um, you have more than enough time still left. Then I take my uh, my uh, rainbow crystal thingy and I do a little prayer for the, the people. Okay. All right. It is heard. Okay. And then I go. Okay. Uh, you all don't see Alvacri appear. <laughs> and then I go to Jet. Yes. Oh boy. And I slap him on his head just to be fun. <laughs> and that's an attack roll, so the invisibility is broken. <laughs> Alish rebuke. <laughs> <laughs> and Ovak is I don't have Alish rebuke. Mm, no, it's a if you Alish rebuke me, I Alish rebuke you too. <laughs> <laughs> rebuke one. Yeah, that, that would work, as you can. Okay. Anyway. Bye. Okay. So. Did you find anything else? Except for I, the wolf, like... I told like you, any, everything, uh, chat. It's nice. Good. Congrats on surviving the stealth mission. Oh, and there was something funny. I dropped a rock in the river, mm-hmm. wow, and they don't move. Wow, it is funny now that you mention that. You know, you should really consider... Stand-up you know, yes, yeah, stand up only. A career. Oh, you're all so mean. Yeah. You're mean. Yeah. So, um, next time that you yeah. uh, slap me, yeah, I will turn you into a slug. <laughs> and then a hellish rebuke you. That doesn't deal damage. <laughs> it doesn't deal damage. <laughs> <laughs> I turn you into a slug. I put you into like a small vial for an hour. That would deal damage. Poor Sultan. <laughs> then I had with you. Yeah. So anyhow, uh, okay. Uh, I would like to spend the remaining sixteen hours, I suppose, of the like going through the tone. Okay. He's good. So well, you need to do it in a certain amount of time, so yeah, indeed. I know. And Ryu, if you want, you still have 16 hours on your tattoo or on your oh, wait. Did you buy a book? Uh, no, I didn't get the book because I needed four more. Okay, sad, but yeah, uh, so 14 hours, right? 16. I'll just add it all at oh, 16. Yeah, I'll just add it all at once then. Two times eight is 16. Uh, where is it? Yeah, okay, <laughs> quick math. That's 193 done. All right. Before we end this, um, you guys still have your final domain actions, if you want them. Preferably. Uh, which the action was technically espionage, I think. Right? I don't recall. I'm not going to lie. I think so, yeah. Um, yep. It then... was espionage, but... It's been too long. 
And then the bonus action, because I remember you guys also had a bonus action left, was... Hold on a second. Was the special bonus action that you guys also get? DC 15 operations test is a domain bonus action deployed in your vanguards. Gain, walk it off. Okay. Um, I'm just going to roll one thing quickly. Okay. All right. Um, so, pretty much you still have a DC 15 operations test and a uh, espionage test. Uh, I've, I've rolled already with my proficiency. Yeah, Shiloh's the only one who still has proficiency bonus left. Shiloh, um, go for it. The question is, which of the two roles are you using it on? Espionage, I suppose, since that's the riskier one. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then, Shiloh, you may roll Shiloh. Uh, an espionage check. So that's normally plus two, but for you it's going to be plus six at this point. Total. Mm -hmm. Nice. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. I think that works. Um. Well, technically, I can just tell you this now. I think. Oh. We like being told things. Mm -hmm. Uh, but mm -hmm. quickly, just give me only good one... things. Though. <laughs> the calculation. It should be a good thing. But give me a second, I quickly want to check one small thing if you guys don't mind. And if you do mind, then mm. that's your problem, mm. not mine. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Perfect. So, what do you guys want to know? <laughs> I'm assuming the units that are there? The, the four uh, crit, uh, running creatures. The amount of command. Uh, so, I'll just uh, go right out and say it. There are five commanders in this town. You don't know specific information on them. Fine. However, you do know there are five commanders. Um, and they currently uh, each seem to have a group of infantry, which are the skeletons that you saw, Valkyrie. The runners are uh, actual, like, four-legged undead. And they would have been treated as cavalry in this instance because they actually mm -hmm. run around the battlefield and can attack from the sides and stuff like that. Uh, also, you Ooh. notice that there is a small unit of demonic... Uh, well, no, actually not. Demonic entities. Uh, this would be a unit known as the Grim Front, which is a, a large group of whites that also shows up, which is their them calling for aid from Mordred. However, there is something that's really interesting, which is you guys currently have 28 in terms of strength. I currently have 13. Yes. Which means we're not actually going to have an army battle because you guys just win round one. <laughs> it's a slaughter! <laughs> That's legitimately how bad it is for me. <laughs> um, I forgot you guys had three tier three summons that you could do, and you made all three of them. Mm -hmm. If you failed one of them, uh, you would have been one. You would have been two points short. Oh, damn. So that means next time. Uh, we are immediately going to start with you guys in a commander battle. So pretty much visually wise, you actually notice how your army at this point led by, I think, the chief, um, Maze Virilis, and I'm forgetting one. Who am I forgetting? Kresden. Uh, Kresden, thank you. <laughs> uh, and Kresden because Ferret's with you guys uh, Green Arm I think is also there Jed just so you know probably um, all five of them are technically leading your forces from Wolf Pine they march pretty much next to where you guys are camped up and they march towards the river where the actual fight will then 
begin and after a few seconds your army just like immediately <laughs> pushes through and just destroys like a half of the soldiers standing there uh however uh the five of you and your remaining captains will be standing on the bridge where the other commanders of the opposing site will be fighting you but that will be for next time <laughs> Okay. Yes. yes. Love it. Good job, guys. Cool. Did great. Cool. 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 Mm. Great. <laughs> great. Great. Ooh. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Right. I am actually going to say bye now. Because <laughs> this is so um, cool. Bye. Yeah. Bye. I'm going to go uh, as well. So, uh,